Hey guys, we're going to look at precision and uncertainty. This is a really fundamental topic in physics because physics is all about taking measurements. And we need to realize that every single measurement has an uncertainty and that we're limited by the precision of the devices that we use to take that measurement. So we're going to look at analog devices first. But before we begin, we need to define these two words. What do we mean by precision and what do we mean by uncertainty? So precision is the smallest interval on a measurement device. And the uncertainty, which you can think of as like an error bar, is half the precision. And it's best to explain these with some examples. So number one, we have an ammeter. So you can see here that the current is somewhere between 4 and 4.5 amps. We can actually interpolate on an analog scale. So I can say that it's about 4.25 amps. The precision of this ammeter is the smallest interval which is 0.5 of an amp. And the uncertainty is simply half of that precision, which is 0.25 amps. But we say it's plus or minus because our value could be a little bit more or it could be a little bit less. There is an uncertainty, there is an error around our measurement. So as physicists, we always record measurements with their associated uncertainty. And this is for a single measurement. So we should actually say that the current is 4.25 plus or minus 0.25 amps. We have our measurement and we have our uncertainty and it's plus or minus because it could be a little bit more and it could be a little bit less. We're basically saying that, that our measurement is somewhere in that ballpark. We can't be precise to an infinite amount, to an infinite degree. So secondly, let's look at a thermometer. You can see from this thermometer that the temperature is somewhere between 37 and 38. So I'm going to say that the temperature is 37 0.5 degrees Celsius. Again, I'm using the fact that I can go half the precision in terms of my reading when I'm taking measurements on an analog device. The precision of this device is plus or minus is just one degree Celsius. And the uncertainty is half of that precision. So it's plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. So to give the full measurement, I should really give the measurement with the uncertainty. And I should say that the temperature is 37.5 plus or minus 0.5 degree Celsius. I have my measurement and I have my uncertainty. Thirdly, I'm going to look at the ruler and this one is ever so slightly different but we still use the same principles. So I'm using a ruler to measure this rod and I can see that the length is about 13.5 centimeters. So what's the precision of this ruler? It's got a millimeter scale so I'm going to say that the precision is one millimeter or 0.1 centimeters. Therefore, the uncertainty is the precision over two, which is 0.05 of a centimeter. However, and this is where it differs ever so slightly on a ruler, you're having to line up on the left and you're having to line up at the right. So you've almost got two sources of uncertainty. So the total uncertainty is two times 0 0.05, which is equal to 0 0.1 centimeters. So I should really record my length as being 13.5 plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeters. We've got our measurement and we have our uncertainty to go with it. It is ever so slightly different there because you're having to take those two measurements, one on the left and one on the right. So in summary, Precision is the smallest interval on a measurement device, and the uncertainty of an analog device is half the precision. Now let's have a look at digital. We have the same definition of precision. It's the smallest interval on a measurement device. However, for a digital device, because we can't interpolate, we can't really see any more detail, we just have to use the uncertainty is equal to the precision for a digital device. So number one, let's look at a stopwatch. So the time here is saying it is seven, 0.638 seconds. The precision you can see here is 0.001 of a second. And because it's a digital device, the uncertainty is equal to the precision, so it's plus or minus 0.001 seconds. So to give the correct way of writing the measurement, I should write t is equal to the time is equal to 7.638 plus or minus 0.001. 
second. In reality, you'd probably never go to that much precision because you're limited by human reaction time. Secondly, we've got a voltmeter. And you've got the measurement is 1.59. So the voltage is what, or the potential difference is 1.59 volts. It's a digital device and its precision is 0.01 of a volt because that's the smallest interval that the potential difference can go up in. Because it's digital, the uncertainty is equal to the precision. So it's got an uncertainty of plus or minus 0.01 volt. So we should really write voltage or potential difference is 1.59 plus or minus 0.01 volts. It's that simple. Finally, we've got an electronic mass balance. And you can see here that the mass is 1025.32 grams. We can say that the precision is 0.01 gram. And because it's a digital electronic balance, we can say that the uncertainty is equal to that precision. So it's plus or minus 0.01 one grams. So if I were to write the uh, correct measurement, I would say that the mass is equal to 1025.32 plus or minus 0 0.01 grams. So it's really simple. You need to be aware that every single measurement has an uncertainty. And what we mean by these two words is really important. The precision is the smallest interval on any measurement device, analog or digital. On an analog device, the uncertainty is half of that precision. And on a digital device, the uncertainty is that precision. You just have to apply these really simple rules and make sure that you record your results correctly. And that's it. Thanks for listening. See you all soon.